People have been curious about what's under the Earth for a really long time. At first, we could only explore natural holes, and many of them were not explored until recently. In the 1900s, machines helped us dig really deep into the Earth. But how deep have we actually gone? In this collection, we'll show you the deepest holes on Earth, whether they're natural or made by humans. Zacaton, Mexico Zacaton is a natural wonder located in Aldemar, Tamaulipas, Mexico. Specifically, it refers to Al Zacaton, which is recognized as the deepest water-filled sinkhole on Earth. This geological formation has attracted attention due to its remarkable depth and challenges it presents for exploration. In 2007, the sinkhole gained particular significance when the Deep Free Attic Thermal Explorer, or Depth-X, a robot funded by NASA, successfully reached the bottom of El Zacaton. The robot's exploration revealed a depth exceeding 1,000 feet, or over 300 meters, providing valuable insights into the sinkhole's structure and the geological processes at play beneath the Earth's surface. Zacaton has become a focal point for scientific study, drawing researchers and explorers interested in understanding the complexities of this unique natural feature. The region's geological characteristics, coupled with the deep exploration made possible by technology, make Zacaton an intriguing site for those seeking to unravel the mysteries of the Earth's subsurface. Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory, Antarctica The Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory is a scientific facility located in Antarctica dedicated to the study of neutrinos. Neutrinos are subatomic particles that are extremely lightweight and electrically neutral, making them challenging to detect. The observatory is situated at the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station, taking advantage of the ice sheet as a natural detector medium. The construction of the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory was completed in December 2010. It consists of a cubic kilometer array of detectors embedded in the Antarctic ice, reaching depths of up to 2,450 meters or 8,000 feet. The purpose of this facility is to capture and analyze high-energy neutrinos that interact with the ice. These neutrinos provide valuable information about astrophysical phenomena, including cosmic rays and high-energy cosmic sources. The observatory has contributed significantly to the field of astroparticle physics, allowing scientists to explore the universe in ways not possible with traditional telescopes. Researchers at the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory collaborate internationally, making it a pivotal hub for neutrino research. The extreme conditions of the Antarctic environment, coupled with the unique detection capabilities of the observatory, make it a crucial asset for advancing our understanding of fundamental particle physics and astrophysics. Kola Superdeep Borehole, Russia The Kola Superdeep Borehole is a scientific drilling project located on the Kola Peninsula in Russia. The project aimed to drill as deeply into the Earth's crust as possible to gather information about the planet's composition and structure. The drilling began in 1970, and over the course of more than two decades, the borehole reached a depth of about 7.5 miles or 12 kilometers. This makes it the deepest artificial point on Earth's surface. The Kola Superdeep Borehole provided valuable data about the Earth's crust, including temperature, seismic activity, and rock samples. While the project did not reach the Earth's mantle as initially hoped, it still yielded important scientific insights. The extreme conditions encountered during drilling, such as high temperatures and pressures, provided researchers with a glimpse into the Earth's subsurface. The Kola Superdeep Borehole Project remains a significant achievement in the field of scientific drilling, contributing to our understanding of the Earth's geology and the challenges associated with deep drilling endeavors. Tarim Basin, China The Tarim Basin is situated in the Uyghur Autonomous Region of Xinjiang in western China. It is one of the largest inland basins in the world, covering an area of about 1,020,000 square kilometers or 394,000 square miles. The basin is surrounded by the Kunlun Mountains to the south, the Tian Shan Mountains to the north, the Pamir Mountains to the west, and the Gobi Desert to the east. One of the notable features of the Tarim Basin is the Taklamakan Desert, one of the largest sandy deserts in the world, occupying the central part of the basin. Despite its arid nature, the basin has several rivers, including the Tarim River, which flows from the mountains to the central part of the basin, creating oases that have historically supported human settlement and agriculture. 
The Tarim Basin has been of great archaeological interest due to the discovery of well-preserved mummies known as the Tarim Mummies or the Xinjiang Mummies. These ancient human remains, some dating back over 4,000 years, have provided valuable insights into the diverse cultures that once thrived in the region. The mummies are believed to belong to various ethnic groups, indicating the historical cultural richness and interactions in the area. The region has a complex history with influences from different civilizations including Chinese, Persian and Central Asian cultures. The Silk Road, an ancient network of trade routes connecting the East and the West, passed through the Tarim Basin, making it a significant crossroads for cultural and economic exchange. In recent times, the Tarim Basin has also become important for its natural resources, including oil and natural gas. The exploration and extraction of these resources has contributed to economic development in the region. However, it has also raised environmental concerns due to the delicate balance of the basin's ecosystem. Chikyu, Japan Chikyu is a cutting-edge Japanese drilling ship operated by the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology, or JAMSTEC. Specifically designed for scientific exploration, Chikyu's primary mission is to investigate the Earth's subsurface and study sub-seafloor environments as part of the Integrated Ocean Drilling Program. In 2012, Chikyu achieved a remarkable milestone by setting a new deep-sea drilling record. The vessel successfully reached an impressive depth of 25,400 feet or 7,742 meters below sea level. This accomplishment underscores Chikyu's advanced drilling capabilities and its vital role in pushing the boundaries of scientific exploration beneath the ocean floor. The ship's contributions have been instrumental in enhancing our understanding of the Earth's geology, tectonics and the intricate processes occurring in the deep sea environment. The Big Hole, South Africa the Big Hole, located in Kimberley, South Africa, is a historic and iconic landmark known for its significance in the diamond mining industry. It's also referred to as the Kimberley Mine, and its history dates back to the late 19th century during the Diamond Rush. Originally a small hill, the Big Hole was transformed into a massive excavation site as miners flocked to Kimberley in search of diamonds. The hole was dug entirely by hand and simple tools, eventually reaching a depth of about 240 meters or 790 feet, and a diameter of approximately 460 meters, or 1,519 feet. During its active mining period, the Big Hole yielded a substantial amount of diamonds, making it one of the world's richest diamond mines. The mining operations at the Big Hole ceased in 1914, and the site has since been turned into a museum and tourist attraction. Today, visitors to the Big Hole can explore the open-air museum that surrounds it, gaining insight into the history of diamond mining in Kimberley. The site features historical buildings, displays of mining equipment, and exhibits that provide a glimpse into the challenges faced by miners during the Diamond Rush era. The Big Hole stands as a testament to the impact of the diamond industry on the development of Kimberley and South Africa's mining history. Mariana Trench, Pacific Ocean Situated in the Pacific Ocean approximately 124 miles or 200 kilometers east of the Mariana Islands near Guam, the Mariana Trench stands as the deepest known point in Earth's oceans. This vast trench, specifically Challenger Deep, boasts a staggering depth of over 6.8 miles or 11 kilometers, making it the deepest point on the planet. Not only does the Mariana Trench reach incredible depths, but it also presents extreme environmental conditions. Temperatures in its darkest places plummet to 34 degrees Fahrenheit or 1.1 degrees Celsius, creating an icy and forbidding environment. Additionally, the pressure at these depths is over a thousand times greater than that experienced at sea level, adding an extra layer of challenge to any exploration or study. Despite its harsh conditions, scientific exploration of the Mariana Trench has been conducted using advanced submersibles and remotely operated vehicles. These missions have revealed unique life forms and geological formations, contributing valuable insights into the mysteries of Earth's deep-sea ecosystems. The Mariana Trench remains a focal point for scientific research, offering a window into the extreme conditions that shape our planet's underwater landscapes. Project Mohol, Mexico From 1961 to 1966, the United States government initiated Project Mohol, a pioneering endeavor aimed at drilling a hole in the Pacific Ocean to explore the Earth's crust and reach the Mohorovicic discontinuity 
commonly known as the Moho. This ambitious undertaking, known as Phase 1, was located off the coast of Guadalupe Island, Mexico. The primary objective of Project Mohole was to penetrate the Earth's crust and reach the boundary between the crust and the mantle. During Phase 1, which spanned several years, the drilling operations achieved a depth of over 600 feet, or 183 meters below the sea floor. Regrettably, subsequent phases of the project did not materialize as originally planned, and the depicted model of the proposed drilling platform represents the unrealized ambitions of further exploration. Despite falling short of reaching the Mohorovicic discontinuity, Project Mohol did yield valuable scientific findings. Notably, the project contributed to the determination of the age of a section of the Earth's crust, offering insights into the geological history of the oceanic environment. Woodingdean Waterwell, England the Woodingdean Waterwell, situated in Woodingdean, England, holds a special place in local history. Dug by hand over a span of four years from 1858 to 1862, this well served as a crucial source of water for the community. During its construction, manual labor was employed to dig down into the earth and tap into the underground water reservoirs. Remarkably, the Woodingdean Waterwell reached an impressive depth of 1,285 feet or 391 meters. While this might seem relatively modest by contemporary standards, it represented a considerable achievement during the time of its construction. The well's depth underscores the determination and effort invested by the community in securing a reliable water supply, employing methods that were labor-intensive but effective for the era. This historic well not only reflects the practicalities of meeting water needs in the past, but also stands as a testament to the engineering and communal endeavors of the people of Woodingdean during the 19th century. KTB Borhol, Germany The KTB, or Continentales Tiefbauprobem der Bundesrepublik Deutschland, or Continental Deep Drilling Program of the Federal Republic of Germany, Borhol, is a significant scientific drilling project located in Windeschessenbach, Bavaria, Germany. The KTB project aimed to explore the Earth's crust and mantle, providing valuable insights into geological processes and the structure of the Earth beneath the surface. The drilling for the KTB borehole commenced in 1987 and continued until 1994. The borehole reached an impressive depth of approximately 9,101 meters or 29,860 feet, making it one of the deepest boreholes in the world at that time. This depth allowed scientists to study the Earth's crust and mantle in unprecedented detail. One of the primary objectives of the KTB project was to investigate the properties of the Earth's crust and mantle, as well as to understand the geological and geophysical conditions at greater depths. The data collected from the KTB borehole contributed to advancements in the understanding of seismic activity, rock properties, and the thermal structure of the Earth's interior. The KTB borehole represents a collaborative effort involving various international scientific institutions and remains a crucial source of information for researchers studying the Earth's subsurface. The project significantly contributed to the advancement of deep drilling technology and our knowledge of the Earth's geology. Bertha Rogers, USA The Bertha Rogers Hole, excavated in 1974, was a significant drilling project undertaken to explore natural gas reserves in the Anadarko Basin, situated in Oklahoma, USA. This ambitious endeavor delved into the Earth's subsurface in search of valuable natural gas resources. Remarkably, the Bertha Rogers borehole reached an impressive depth of around 6 miles, or 9.7 kilometers, making it a pivotal feat in the realm of drilling exploration. To this day, it proudly retains its status as the deepest borehole in the United States. The depth of the Bertha Rogers hole showcases the technological prowess and scientific curiosity that drove this endeavor, providing valuable insights into the geological composition and potential natural gas reservoirs in the Anadarko Basin. Veryovkina Cave, Georgia Veryovkina Cave, situated in the Arabica Massif of the Gagra Range in the Western Caucasus near the town of Gagra, holds a prominent place among the deepest caves on the planet. The cave, though internationally recognized as part of Georgia, is currently administered by the de facto Republic of Abkhazia. Its significance lies not only in its geographic location, but also in its extraordinary depth, making it a focal point for cave explorers and researchers alike. 
One of the most notable features of Veryovkina Cave is its remarkable depth, explored to approximately 2,212 meters or 7,257 feet as of our last knowledge update in January 2022. This depth distinguishes it as the deepest known cave on Earth, and the exploration involves traversing through intricate cave passages, vertical shafts, and expansive chambers. The dynamic and challenging nature of the cave's internal structure has made it a subject of extensive exploration efforts, attracting speleologists seeking to unravel its geological mysteries. Thanks for watching our exploration of the deepest holes on Earth. If you liked learning about these incredible places, please give us a thumbs up, drop a comment, and hit that subscribe button. Your support means a lot, and we'll keep bringing you more cool stuff. Stay tuned for more adventures.